Egus. Scene 6. That's the most indulgent thing I've ever heard. You think? Please, don't be ridiculous. You've done the most superb work with the children. You must know that. Yes, but do the children. Really? I'm sorry. So you should be. I don't know why you listen. It's just professional menopause. Everyone gets it sooner or later, except you. Oh, of course. I feel totally fit to be a magistrate all the time. No, you don't. But then that's you feeling unworthy to fill a job. I feel the job is unworthy to fill me. Do you seriously? More and more. I'd like to spend the next ten years wandering very slowly around the real Greece. Anyway, all this dream nonsense is your fault. Mine? It's that lad of yours who started it off. Do you know it's his face I saw in every victim across the stone? Strang. He has the strangest stare I ever met. Yes. It's exactly like being accused. Violently accused. But what of? Treating him is going to be unsettling. Especially in my present state. His singing was direct enough. His speech is more so. He's already talking to you then? Oh, yes. It took him two more days of commercials. And then he snapped. Just like that, I suspect it has something to do with his nightmares. He has nightmares? Bad ones. We had to give him a sedative or two, doctor. Last night it was exactly the same. What does he do? Call out? A lot of screaming, doctor. Screaming? One word in particular. You mean a special word? Over and over again. It sounds like... Egg. That was what he said. Egg. Yes, doctor. Egg. Egg, he goes. Egg. How weird. When I woke him up, he clung to me like he was going to break my arm. And then he bursts in. Just like that, without knocking or anything. Fortunately, I didn't have a patient with me. Dad. What? The answer to a question I'd asked him days two days before. Spat out with the same anger as he sang the commercials. Dad what? Who hates telly. You mean his dad forbids him to watch? Yes. It's a dangerous drug. Oh, really? It may not look like that, but that's what it is. Absolutely fatal mentally, if you receive my meaning. That's a little extreme, dear, isn't it? You sit in front of that thing long enough, you'll become stupid for life, like most of the population. The thing is, it's a Swiss. It seems to be offering you something, but actually it's taking something away, your intelligence and your concentration. Every minute you watch it, that's a true Swiss, do you see? I don't really care. I don't want to sound like spoil sport old chum, but there really is no substitute for reading. What's the matter? Don't you like it? It's alright. I know you think it's none of my biswats, but it really is, you know. Actually, it's a disgrace when you come to think of it. You the son of a printer, and never opening a book. If all the world was like you, I'd be out of a job, if you receive my meaning. All the same, time changes, Frank. They change if you let them change, Dora. Please return that set in the morning. No! Frank, no! I'm sorry, Dora, but I'm not having that thing in the house a moment longer. I told you I didn't want it to begin with. But dear, everyone watches television these days. Yes, and what do they watch? Mindless violence, mindless jokes, every five minutes some laughing idiot selling you something you don't want. Just to bolster up the economic system. So I'm sorry, old chum. He's a communist, then. Old type socialist, I'd say. Relentlessly self improving. They're both older than you expect. So I got her. Really, dear, you're very extreme. He's an ex-school teacher, isn't she? Yes, the boy's proud of that. We got on to this afternoon. She knows more than you. Does she? I bet I do too. I bet I know more history than you. Well, I bet you don't. All right. Who was the hammer of the Scots? Don't know. Who? King Edward I. Who never smiled again? I don't know. Who? You don't know anything, do you? It was Henry I. I know all the kings. And who's your favorite? John. Why? Because he put out the eyes of that smarty little... Um, well, he, he didn't really. He was prevented because the gaoler was merciful. Oh, dear. He was prevented. Something other was to follow. Who said religion is the opium of the people? Good lord. <laughs> the other thing was, he said it with a sort of guilty snigger. The sentence is obviously associated with some kind of tension. What did you say? I gave him the right answer. Karl Marx. No. Then who? Mind your own beeswax. It's probably his dad. He may say it to provoke his wife. And you mean she's religious? She could be. I tried to discover. 
none too successfully. Mind your own beeswax! However, I shall find out on Sunday. What do you mean? I want to have a look at his home, so I invited myself over. Did you? If there's any tension over religion, it should be evident on the Sabbath evening. I'll let you know. Good evening, 